Hello everybody, this is Smider135, and you're probably looking at your screen like... Smider, what the fuck is going on? And I'm here to tell you that... Uh, I, I don't even know what's going on. But I figure with the, the advent of 2015, uh, I should try to push myself with recording and with basically this. So I figured maybe trying to do one of these things with like, one of these face cams, maybe... Maybe a good idea, maybe not. I, I don't know. Point is, I'm going to try it and see how it goes, and if it works well with this, then I'll keep it around for whatever. But I'm not gonna, this isn't gonna be used for like every single game. This isn't gonna be like a, let's play Toho, and then, you know, I'm sitting here like, you, you go! Duh! Ah, yeah! Duh! Sunday, whatever. But I figure, you know, Misao is supposed to be like one of those, you know, horror RPG games. And where is, oh, oh, I didn't click on the screen. Oh, okay. There we go. I'm also doing this from a new location. I'm doing it in my bedroom. But let's go ahead and get started. Enter this girl's name with the keyboard. Aki, confirm with enter. I'm a, can I confirm down here? I have to do it up here. Is Aki alright? Yeah, go ahead. Help. Help. Find me. Where can I find you? You you like in the phone book? A uh, Misao? Is that you, Misao? Misao! Okay, so we're not Misao. Was I dreaming? Also, yes, that is a crown on my head. I thought I heard Miso. I guess, I guess it was just the dream. It's been three months. Oh no, it's so late. I'm gonna be late for school. We're already pulling out cliches like that? Miso never stood out too much in our class. She was just a simple girl, really. I'm guessing she went missing or something? I wasn't too close to her, but I always worrying that Miso was being- I was always worrying about Miso being alone. I had hoped I could be her friend, but that didn't happen. And I just dropped my water. Three months ago, Miso went missing. She wasn't coming to school, and she hadn't come home either. She's not the time to flee home. Our parents were saying that she might have gotten involved in something. Well, I'm off. Put on her shoes and let's go. Our class spread the rumor that Misao was long dead by now. I really hope they're wrong. I wanted to be her friend. Well, if she wasn't long dead, we wouldn't be having this... Move that. We wouldn't be having this find me stuff, and we wouldn't have a game. Oh, that's a little... I can see the reflection of the camera, like, in the black computer screen, and it's like, I move my head, I move my right, and there's like a second delay. So here, and then you have the attractive teacher of Aki's class, popular with the students of his generosity, for his generosity. Soda? Soda. Sota. Mr. Soda's cool as ever. I'm still gonna call him Soda. That voice I heard in my dream, was that Misao? Stop daydreaming because I'm like, this classroom is big. If, if like we're tiny, we're as big as the desks. You've got guts to ignore my lecture. Yeek. This information will be essential for the test. You so you'd better listen. Yes, yeah, sir. I'm sorry. Giggle. Sweat, sweat. Mr. Soda has a new suit. Like, whoa, super suave. Well, super suave. Aki's best friend, a fad following girl who looks up to Mr. Soda. Ayaka, you've been talking to him all morning. Don't you ever. You've been talking about him. Oh, yeah, you've been talking him up all morning. Don't you get tired of blabbing? But he's such a ladies' man. He's so nice and smart and the best. Oh, yeah, I gotta go. Gotta use some hand cream. Do do do. Did you hear? I did. There's a rumor Mr. Soda has a hand fetish. So maybe if I clean my hand constantly all the time, maybe he'll like me more. I don't really care, Aika. Th thanks, Aki. <laughs> don't really care, she says. Ha, you've got an eye for no men, Aki. Seriously, what do you see in a seducer like Toma? I never said I liked anybody. I just think he's kind of cool, that's all. Really? Nee, <laughs> nee, nee, nee.
Hmm. Spooky stuff. Plot? Paranormal, my ass. So this is the dude? Aki's classmate. The boy carefree in appearance, personality, and everything. It's for real. It is for real. The other day, a kid in the other class got dragged away to the bathroom. Aki's classmate, leader of the bullies. Oh, so we'll give him like a thug, kind of. There's also a glass in the third floor hallway broken from the inside. Aki's classmate, a calm, early maturing youth. Gotta be good. Gotta be ghosts! I don't even know. Surfer voice? <laughs> Eek, I'm so scared. Aki's classmate, just Otome for short. Toma's girlfriend. Ah, so it's one of those things. Ghosts, huh? Dumbass. Those don't exist. Wait, what if... This is Misao's curse. Look, this is no time for jokes. But I mean, it's totally possible that it's been three months since she's vanished. Then this stuff sto suddenly starts. I can't do this. If those events are, if those events are Misao's curse, then Yoshino will be cursed sooner or later. Hmm? Whatever did I do? Yoshino, you did bully Misao a lot. <laughs> Bullying? Why never? I was just making a little fun, man. And Toma always screwed with Misao. You're what? You're the one who got cursed. Me? Ha! Huh, I'm fine. Misao looked up to me. I wonder. Toma, I'm scared. I mean, I'm your girlfriend. Misao may have a grudge. Don't sweat it, Otome. I'll protect you. Oh, you're so nice, Toma. Blah, blah, blah. This is, sir, this is, this is becoming really word-heavy. Misao, please don't curse us. The rest of us are fair game, though. <laughs> Oops, did I say that out loud? Gahaha. Oh, shit. <laughs> An earthquake? Oh! What? It got r dark right quick. What the heck's going on? Oh, wrong voice. <laughs> maybe, just maybe. Is it really Misao's curse? Misao's real mad at us. Shut up! What the hell? I was just kidding about that curse crap. Ah. Aki? Help. Help. Misao? Misao! I can hear her speaking to me. Oh, it's gonna, it's gonna be her. Just shut it. I don't hear her damn voice. Yaki, you, you talking crazy talk. I'm not. Ah, uh, oh. Find me. Me, me, so. Wow, 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 wow. Oh! Oh. Wag. Oh, I had to hit the button. Mmm, Misao. Ah, you finally come too. Huh. Oh, hey, it's a dude. Where am I? I was just in the classroom. And who are you? I'm Oni Go- Okay. Okay, I knew this guy was gonna be in the game, and not this early. Oni Gawara? The student council president. And this is the student council room. Luckily for you, you've ended up somewhere safe. Ended up. How did we even end up here? After the earthquake, the school sucked into another world. This sent those inside. This sent those inside flying all across the school. Okay, that makes sense, I guess. Another world. What is that supposed to mean? And why would that happen? Well, it's a curse. <laughs> it's a result of the girl's curse of this school was sealed in the other world. A curse. It couldn't be. Misao. Yes, it's Misao. President Onagawa. Pan Pan. I finally made it. I thought I was a goner. So you finally returned, Miss Library. She's the school's vice president, always in the library, so that's what we call her. So then, Miss Library, how does it look? It's messed up and gunked up and funked up. The foundation and everything is wrecked, and I haven't been able to find any exits. Plus, evil spirits are going and attacking people. I saw a student killed before my own eyes. I'll never be able to eat hamburgers again. Oh, it was frightening. Oh, so I see. Thank you for your report. You may retire for now. Yes, well, I'm going back to the library. Call me anytime you need me. So you just ran all the way here just to assure yourself that you were safe, and then you're immediately going back out into the fray. Evil spirits, the curse must have summoned them. The school is now a den of spirits, and there's nowhere to run. Hmm. There's only one solution. Cursing. And how are we supposed to do that? Do we need some holy water to do that? Or special miracle water that you happen to have on your person? By saving the girl's soul. But, Miss Aki, you know what you must be do. I do? Find me. Misao's calling me, so she wants to be found. Mr. Onigawa, I'll go look for Misao. 
So you will. As library informs me, the school is full of evil spirits, and yet you wish to go. I will, because Miss Sal is my friend. Understood. You are interested with the fate of the school. I believe you can do it. If you encounter any trouble, pay a visit to the library on the second floor. She will try her best to help. If you wish to make a record, please talk to me. I will do so for you at any time. Will you save? I'll go ahead. Okay, so it's just a timestamp. There's no picture or anything. You can also press C or Shift to make a quick save. Deleted when the game is closed. You can ask the library for more details. So it's like a save state. I pray for your safety, but just like a temporary save state. Do we? Oh, oh hey, we got stuffs. Uh, we have question balls for items that we can only go up and down for some reason. Uh, parts. One, six parts. And warp. Not usable yet. Alright, so... It's no, it's no use without an item equipped. We're gonna find chalk at some point. Oh well, enough. Oh. Okay, so that's the quick save button. So we came from here. So, let's go look around and probably get spooked. And probably die. Knowing my luck. Oh, ah! Exuary the X. Cloudy. The emergency exit key fell out of the vase. Somebody pick it up. No, it's the emergency. Emergency exit key. Inspect the flower vase. Ow. Got a pretty pie rose thorn. The rose is poisoned. It curses through Aki's body. Oh, are we already gonna die? Herc? Huh. <laughs> Welp. What did I say? Nothing out of the ordinary, nothing out of the ordinary. Die, Vase. You don't belong in this world. You can't break it with your bare hands. There's something in there. Otherwise, we wouldn't be able to do that, inspect it or something. Or we maybe we can, but it's a dumb thing. Vending machine. Buy, I'll buy some juice. <laughs> and, the refu and the machine refused to change. Is that a chick, or is this going to be like a monster? Ayaka. It is Ayaka. That's the chance for a lifetime. Really? The world's going to hell, and all you can think of is the teacher. Top drawer, packed with love letters to Mr. Soda. Soda's desk. I feel like there's probably something in here, though. I want to wash your underwear. Well. Okay. Nothing, nothing. Check the everything. Because, check everything twice. Check the everything, because that always works. It's locked in a flower pod. We also need to find a vase, apparently. I've already forgotten the letter that was in the thing. Well, let's go to the bathroom first and foremost. I think the fire extinguisher, that would make up for a handy weapon. Hey, oh, oh. Yeah, stay away. Otome. Toma. Toma. Oh, you. Wow. Um. To the rescue! And by that, I mean probably using our own body. Uh, how do we. Oh, what? Dead. We have to be in specific places to actually be able to. Okay, we need to drive it away, but we could easily just walk around it, and it does nothing. I'm gonna save, though. I can't save? Well. Ah, oh, you're dumb. See, I said it was gonna... What? Hmm. See, I'm just like, it's a fire extinguisher. It's going to be important, and she's dead. And I'm, this probably is going to have some effect on an ending of some sort. Whatever. Don't care. I'll probably look at a walkthrough later and be all like, well, this is how I get saved. I don't have a fire extinguisher anymore. Nope. 
And I can't save. I guess it's only, uh, I can go outside? Oh, other world, abyss. A shrine? I don't think we have any coins. Nothing happens. Nothing happens. Nothing happens. What's in the front? Sacrifice the body or the curse will never end. It's Satomi's grave. Yep! Someone's grave, there's no name. Yeah, this is totally a... Someone gets killed and... Everyone's going to die! Everyone is going to freaking die! Boulders. Boulders. <sighs> well, we're off to a good start. Wait, can we go to the right or left? Nope. It's all squishy, too. A door in these places. Okay. That's gonna be important later? Probably. Nothing. 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 Dragon human creepy stares right back at you. That's gonna get up and come after us. Walk all over the beds, take it. Yes, because taking a nap in a room where this thing is scary is totally like the perfect way to. perfect thing to do, which means we're gonna do it anyways. Yep. I guess. I'm doing all of the bad things, aren't I? Yep. Help. Huh? Oh, it's a chick? Huh. He's here. That guy? Oh, we're gonna hide. Oh, we're gonna have to hide in the... No. No! Why? No! Why did I do this?! Yep. Good night. This was the last place I saved. And I took a nap there. So, let's take a nap again. Because obviously you can't help. It can't hurt. How many spirits? Is it still just... Is it three? Or is it, yeah, it's three. There's like one above me, one next to me, and then there's like one out down to the bottom right. It looks like I can't save him though. So. That's important. I just, uh. I can't, I, I don't know. I, I just don't know. Okay. What kind of a boot disc? What about over here? I can't go over there. Wait a minute. This is that one room from the ending of the witch's house. This is where What's-His-Face was looking at, um... Not the witch's house. Mad father! Dude was looking at Ayaya here. I wonder if that help is gonna, you know, go away and he, she's gonna be dead if we don't come back to actually try to save her. We got a bat? Filled with blood. Hmm? Bat? 
dude or my guy that got eaten over there, huh? Well, okay, I think I'm starting to piece together what the crap I'm gonna have to do. So, I guess I'll go ahead and cut it off here, and I'll try to see if I can save that one chick by getting this bat and going up in there. Because I know I'm not gonna be able to save, uh, chick lady bully person over there if I go over there with nothing. Because I, I doubt that a bat's gonna really be able to take down a dude that looked like he had a large knife slash chainsaw. So, thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one, alright?